Hey, I'm Andrea, and this is my weekly rewind where I talk about books that I received in the past week, reviews, posts, any kind of um, anything basically that's gone here at the Bookish Babe. And I generally try not to spaz out or dork out too much. So we'll see how that goes. It's always a crapshoot. All right, so I got a lot of stuff, a lot of books. And I know every week I say that I'm not going to do it, and almost every week I fail. And so I'm not even going to pretend to um, try anymore. I've been pretty good, but anyway. Um, so let me start with books, ebooks that I received. This first one is for review. It's for a blog tour, and I'm probably not going to get it read for the blog tour. I'm going to do um, put a post up. I get a promo post, I think, is what it is. But um, it sounded really interesting, and the author, when she sent me a review request or asked me to be on her tour, she, uh, she, I mean, it was like the perfect letter. Like, she had everything that I needed, the dates, the links, all the details. It was perfect. And I was really pressed for time, but I was like, you know, she took a lot of effort and to make this as... Um, like she dumbed it down so wonderfully for me that I was like I have to do it so anyway it's um and I hope I'm saying the name right it's Nikki Jefford and Entangled it is book one in her Entangled series you can't see it very well because of the glare but there it is lovely the next book is a book from Avon Red um I the publicist from Avon Jesse sent me an email inviting me to read this on Ava Weiss and it is Heat Rises <laughs> a cabin fever novella by Alice Gaines and I giggle like a little kid when it comes to stuff like this but it fit in really well because some friends and I um, Autumn at the Autumn Review, Jessica Hacker's Reviews, and um, April at Sensational Books were doing, um, what was it, Sexy Summer Saturday, something like that. We were trying to um, read like a kind of a sexy book one a week and then post our review on Saturday. So it was something fun and I thought this would fit in perfectly. So um, looking forward to reading that and I believe it comes out in June. The next book is a book that I'm pretty excited about, and I've been awesome at turning down review requests. Like, I probably got 25 last week and only said yes to one, so I'm, I'm getting there. But anyway, this one looks so good. It is called Dead Radiance, a Valkyrie novel, and that is by T.G. Ayer and here she is someone else who wrote an excellent um, review request and she has another book coming out in July I believe June or July book two in this series so I think I'm going to be reading both but I it looks good and so I hope I like it the last ebook that I got is from an author that I really like um, Evelyn LaFont. She writes great novellas. Um, last week I reviewed Are We On For Tonight? And it was about a girl trying to keep her date during the zombie apocalypse. And it's really cute. This one's only like, I want to say 30 to 40 pages. It's a Syrian novella. It's Pack Mistress by Evelyn LaFont. And so um, I think she releases like one per month. But this was the first one and it was free on Amazon last week. So I got it and I can't wait to read it because like I said I really like Evelyn's stuff. So fun. Okay, the next several books are all books that I received from a fellow blogger and friend Justin at Justin Justin's book blog and let me see. Make sure I have them all. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so Justin sent me all these books. Uh, we were going to meet up at a book signing and something happened and I couldn't go. My husband was having to work and I was feeling sick, so I didn't go. And he was going to bring me all these to save himself shipping and then I didn't come. So I wasn't expecting him to, to, you know, still give me these, but he emailed me last week and, you know, said 
but he still wanted to give me the book. So Justin, I appreciate it very much. If you're not following his vlog and visiting, you should definitely should. And I'll have a link down below. But anyway, he sent me these books, um, these arcs that he had. The first one is Freshman Year and Other Disasters by Meredith Zeitlin. And this one, let me see, it came out in March. So it seems like a cute, fun, contemporary book, which I love. The next one is a book that just came out. Um, and it doesn't, it came out like a week or so ago. And this isn't the cover that you'll see if you um, look on Goodreads or if you see it in the store. The actual cover is really pretty. But um, this is When You Are Mine. Oops, <laughs> good thing that teacup was empty. By Rebecca Searle. And uh, it's kind of a retelling of Romeo and Juliet from, and I can't remember in the story, um, the other girl's um, name. Was it Rosaline? Because that's what the girl's name is in here. But I, I read, I've read Romeo and Juliet several times, and I, I like it. But it's from the other girl's point of view, not Juliet's. So how would you feel if you were that girl and Juliet came into your world and took your dude? You'd be pretty pissed. So, sounds like a fun sort of retelling. Oh, and Justin also sent me some signed bookmarks from Wonder Love, signed by Kirsten Hubbard. I loved that book. From Illuminate by Amy Agresti. Uh, Unraveling, signed by Liz Norris. I haven't read that yet, but I plan to. And Sweet Evil, signed by Wendy Higgins. And I have read that, and I love it. So thanks for the bookmarks. All right, the next one is a book that I really, really wanted to read. It's, if it's not, it says it comes out in May. If it's not out yet, well then, it's, it'll be out really quick. It's While He Was Away by Karen Schreck. And I really wanted to read this. So, excited about that one. The next one is a really pretty book, and it sort of reminds me of the cover from Dreaming Awake by Gwen Hayes, sort of. It's Enchanted by Al, I started to say Althea, it's Alethea, maybe? Contis. And, uh, so it's, seems to be um, a fairy tale retelling and it comes out it came out on May 8th and I've heard this is a good one another one that I'm looking forward to reading <clears throat> next I have take a Bow, take a vow by Elizabeth Yulberg that one I okay it came out in April and uh, I actually had a chance to do an art tour for this, but didn't really have the time um, when they were doing the tour. So I am looking forward to reading this. The last one from Justin is Where It Began by Anne Reddish Stampler. Uh, let's see, this one, I'm not sure if it's out. No, it came out in February, so it's definitely out. I have a cousin who I believe read this and loved it. We're kind of book soulmates, besides being completely alike in every way. And uh, she, she, we, we love all the same books, and she liked this, so I'm really looking forward to reading it. Okay. I got another copy of where it began. I mean, not where, when you were mine. And I had made a trade for this after, um, after I thought that I wasn't going to be getting the books from Justin. Um, someone wanted to trade. I think it was Until I Die. And I, I was like, sure. So um, I have two copies of this, so I'll be sending one on to a friend to read and review. The last two books well one of them was a surprise because I have an arc of this book and got a finished copy from Harper Teen so thank you very much I'm pretty sure it's probably Allison the publicist so thanks Allison and that is Darkness Before Dawn 
and uh, I have that one. I'm going to be reading that one next week for review. Like I said, I had an art, so I'm happy to have this, and one of the copies I'll be giving away next week, so keep an eye out. Heard it's good. All right, the last one, if there's a Cassie Clear book out, I'm going to get it, and I'm kind of bummed. I probably should have just ordered one from... Um, Books of Wonder because now this is my only Cassandra Clare book that's not signed because I went to her signing in Nashville in December and bought all new books and got them signed. But anyway, it is City of Lost Souls and I am excited and also terrified to read this. I love her, love the series, love the characters. But I almost wish that she'd have left it at City of Glass because that ending is so perfect and I'm so scared that things won't be wrapped up nice and beautifully for Jason Clary by the end of City of Heavenly Fire, but fingers crossed she makes it work. So I haven't read it yet. I'm very excited to read it, but like I said, I'm also scared. So there's that. Okay. Um, had a lot of stuff going on this week. I reviewed the Hot Celestra series by Addison Moore. Uh, got those, most of those last week. Some I had before, but she sent me the rest of the series, so I decided to do three for one reviews. The first, like on Monday, I reviewed books one through three, and on Thursday, I reviewed books four through six. And those books are insane. Um, just like anything and everything happens in that book like I'm not surprised anymore but somehow she makes it work and I love it I mean it's just like ridiculous it's like what is Skyla gonna do next but anyway they're totally fun and have some really great characters um I had a, my teaser Tuesday post was from Wicked in the Celestial series and on Wednesday I decided I was waiting on Covet by Tracy Garvis Grace because I'm pretty much obsessed with her um books and she's just a pretty darn special lady. Um I also did a cover reveal of Allegiance by K.A. Tucker. That series seriously has some of the most gorgeous covers ever and um can't wait to read that. I also did a post for um, author Matt Merrick who is giving away um, a signed set of Exiled and Shift on Goodreads and his blog along with signed posters of the book covers. So you should definitely go check that out at the link below. And um, on Friday I posted my review of Fragile by Michelle Layton. That's my first Michelle Layton book. Book. I own a bunch of her books, so that's the first one I've actually um, sat down and read and reviewed, and I adored it. And so you can check out that review. And on Saturday, um, I posted a review that I did with my son on um, a Batman adventure book, along with and a Batman adventure choose your adventure book. It was really fun. He enjoyed it. And if you have kids, you should definitely check it out because I am hosting a giveaway on behalf of Tor. They are giving away five copies of that book. And if you have kids, you should definitely check it out because it's fun and they're home for summer and it'll give them something to do. Great for a car trip, great for a rainy day. All you have to do is comment to be entered to win. So that's what I had going on here at my blog. I... Um, have my work cut out for me in the future. So I hope to see you next week. Hopefully my pile will be a considerable amount shorter. And I hope you all have a great week. Bye.